in my recent iOS project, I have created a radio button using Swift UI. Okay, so today I want to share with you how to create radio button using Swift UI and Swift programming language. So I already created a single view application using Swift UI in Xcode and we need to create a radio button group like this. Okay, and we want to create the radio button such a way that we can reuse the component. So if you look this radio button, what you can see that there is a radio button with label and that should be uh, within a group so that we can select only one at a time so for this reason let's create a radio button field which uh, basically reflect only one set okay so let's write here some code and every radio button should have an ID so let's define a uh, ID okay uh, every radio button should have a label so let define another variable let label string and for this radio button we can we want to mention the size like the width or height etc so i want to define a size as well uh, that will be cg float and then let define a color if we want to change the color and then we want to define the text size so let text size that is that is also cg float and then let is marked so whether the radio button if it is selected it should be marked as a uh, inside circle right so we will be uh, known using by this variable and let's define a callback function let callback which will uh, will be using a string parameter and will uh, uh, will return nothing okay so let's define the constructor using init or initializer so here what we want to pass the parameter let's define those in here so first we want to define uh, let's remove this statement so here in the parameter let's define id which will be string then label that is also a string and then size cg float and for this parameter we can pass a default size 20 then color the color parameter it will be the default value is color black if we do not want to pass any value then text size so text size should be cg float and the default value should be 14 okay so then is marked this will be a bool and it the default value will be false then let's define a callback function uh, the parameter and this function should be escaping closer okay escaping then a string and it will return nothing this parameter and within the body of this initializer uh, let's assign the value with the property so self So now we want to define the body okay for the swift ui so and uh, for this reason we have to define bar body that will be some view and here we want to define a, a button for this thing we want to define a button so let's define a button action and there will be a label so in the button we want to call the callback function and where we will pass the id so if you pass a callback function you will get the field id okay and in the label for the label let's uh, defining a h stack for horizontal stacking and uh, where in the for the h stack we want to give some alignment alignment uh, main should be center and spacing should be 10 okay and let's define an image for this uh, the first one okay so for this we want to use a image so for this image i want to use the system name so if you uh, know the sf symbol you can basically search the ios provided symbol for example if you search here circle you can see different kind of circle right like this stop circle so for our purpose we are basically using large circle dot fill this one and normal circle 
normal circle that is just a uh, round shaped circle and with the inside there is nothing okay so anyway so let's define the uh, image for this so for this uh, radio button so here we want to check a condition so the condition is if self dot is marked if it is true then use the large circle dot fill dot circle otherwise use the circle normal circle image okay and the rendering mode should be original otherwise you will see a different type of blue color which we do not want and then it should be resizable and then what modifier we want to use we want to use the aspect ratio so at aspect ratio we want to use fit for this and then we want to set a frame and the, for the frame we want to define width which is self dot size and height is also self dot size so for width and height we are using the same size and then after this image you see there is a label so for this let's define a label so text label and the label will be which will be passing okay so the label and we want to define some font so for this uh, sorry font okay and the for font font modifier we want to use the default system font font dot system and the size will be text size which will be passing from outside and then what we want to do we want to use a spacer so that it uh, automatically uh, shrink in or give some space okay and finally for this uh, label we want to define a foreground color and for the foreground color we want to use self dot color and after that and we want to use the background color uh, the foreground color is the self dot color and we want to define another color color dot white so that uh, the background looks white for this label so here after the button this foreground color then we here we want to type dot foreground color color dot white so our first view is done okay we basically created a radio button field so suppose if we want to use that radio button field here inside the body and here we we need to pass some value like uh, id for id i am passing suppose x for label i want to type a mail callback i want to i will get an id in here for the radio button id and i just want to print the id print id okay just for temporary purpose i want to show it here and if i click resume in here to see the output you see there is a radio button okay but it is not functioning if i run here inside the xcode you see it is clickable okay but nothing is happen so we need to modify this thing so in our second phase we want to create that what kind of thing we want to do basically i am targeting to create a gender radio uh, group of button okay so that i can select whether the user is male or female we need this input so let's define an enum type so that this will be our second phase mark a group of radio button so if you do not know why i am using mark basically when you are uh, writing code in swift and swift ui if you define this special comment you will see if i click here you will see there is a label like group of radio button single radio button field so basically it will help to uh, understand the existing code so suppose other programmer are coming to use your code then he can easily understand okay so this is a common practice for swift and swift ui anyway so let's define a gender enum type gender and it should be a string and where we want to type male equals uh, male and case female equals female okay so simple and now in the second phase we want to create the radio button group okay so let's uh, define another struct here so one thing i want to share with you that i am writing all the code in one file but in my application i basically use a separated file for this radio button field and the radio button of group so for the simplicity i'm just using this single file anyway so let's define struct radio 
uh, button groups which will be inherited from view and here let's define a callback function callback and here in the radion button group we want to define a state a local state so state at state and then var and for the var i want to define a selected id so basically when there are uh, many radio button inside a group we want to know that which radio field is active and we want to just use that id that's why we need this selected id and this will be a string and by when i define it uh, when it will be initialized it will be empty okay so let's define the body var body some view so for this here we need a vertical stack okay so let's define a vertical stack so here i want to define uh two uh we need basically what we need we need two radio button right right male and female so currently i just put a empty view here for testing purpose and here let's define two different uh view type okay two different view dynamic view so bar radio male and majority some view and here let's uh, use that radio button field this class so radio button field and here i can pass some parameter so for presentation purpose i normally write code like this way so that it looks easier to understand anyway so here for the id what i want to give the id i want to give gender dot male dot raw value so we can in that case we can use this male as a id okay for the first radio button and the label will be same gender dot male dot raw value so we can get we will get this male text okay and for the callback oh one thing uh, is marked there is another variable is marked uh, here is marked which is by default false but if we want we can pass the value from outside so in this case we want to pass the value from outside from here so what i will type is mark and here i want to put a condition so the condition is if selected id so this id uh, equal to gender dot male dot raw value then it should be true otherwise it should be false simple okay so when the male is selected uh, we want to uh, pass the value true so that the in inner circle here you see here we put another condition right the system image that if this is marked then fill circle otherwise empty circle so that's we are checking the condition here and pass the value and for the callback we want to define another uh, function in here so let's define that function and that function name will be radio group callback so for all radio button we use only one callback function so let's define that function fun radio group just copy this thing here and paste it here okay and this callback what we will get you see in in our definition when we are basically uh, call back the function here you see we are passing the id this is our uh, function signature so we will get the id okay which will be a string so what i want to uh, do i want to do selected id equals id and if this radio button any other callback is coming we want to use that callback as well and here this radio callback function which we are passing in in, in here in this uh, radio button field which basically take the id and that id is uh, placed in assign in this selected id okay so that's it simple and now just uh, copy this line here and just uh, read rewrite it uh, female majority and for here just write female female uh, it is also female okay so female and okay and now what you have to do you have to here in the v stack just remove this empty view and use radio male majority and radio female majority as i am using v stack or vertical stack so the object will be placed up to down okay so the first one will be like this the second one will be like this now at the third step or the final step we want to reuse our radio button group so here here we for presentation purpose we are using a h stack and here we are typing just gender 
uh, it, this will be a horizontal stack and it the fonts will be font uh, font dot headline okay the default uh, behavior of the font and the next will be the radio button groups we will be using this one and here uh, there is only one callback function so we can use just the trailing closer okay so here we what we will get we will get the selected id or selected whatever and now here in this callback what we want to do i want to just print selected gender id and i want to print the selected okay and for presentation purpose i am just giving a default padding here so if i resume here you will see now it is look very nice if i run here you see i can now select male female but the this value the selected gender id is not showing because it is not showing from here so i need to run from uh, in the simulator okay so if i click male you see the uh, terminal or console is open here and here we can when i cl click male it is uh, showing selected gender id male when i select female it is showing female okay so this is how I have created the radio button and radio button group in Swift UI, which I am using in my current project. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.